Hello everyone, so, I don't even know where to begin, Lil Tay is alive, uh, which first and foremost, thank God, uh, because we're talking about a 15 year old here, um, whose parents and situation is very shady, so first and foremost, whenever everything was coming out, it was just like, is this 15 year old safe? Um, and so we made a video, and I kind of made my video kind of late into the media storm of this, um, and my one was more coming at it from, it was posted on Lil Tay's social media that uh, she was dead and that her brother was also dead. And then her manager and father were saying that they don't want to confirm or deny whether or not she's alive. So I made my video around then. So my video never really was, you know, set in stone. So it kind of made it easier to do an update with you here because we kind of left that one with being like, I don't know what's happening. Now we know what's happening, I think. So... The thing was posted on Lil Tay's Instagram, right? So it has now been deleted, clearly, as you can see here. So this is Lil Tay, social media sensation. Um, it is no longer on her profile. And this news article from TMZ, which, by the way, can I just say, like, how scary it is that the misinformation... Misinformation station! Literally allowed the headline that Lil Tay was dead to go around every single news platform and was like, sources confirm, sources confirm. And this person was alive the entire time. Like how much the media jumped on, like how many YouTube videos I saw that was like, Lil Tay is dead or, you know, news articles, Lil Tay confirmed dead. And it's like the fact that the, like what sources were confirming. Yeah, exactly. And the, the fact that this literally is a 15 year old is terrifying that that was allowed to happen. But and TMZ were one of the main ones as well that were posting this this news. So now this headline from TMZ reads, Lil Tay, I'm not dead. Social media personality Lil Tay is very much so still alive, which thank God, but also this was TMZ and all these places were the ones that were really driving this story because they were getting a lot of clicks by it, which is so terrifying in theory that they were getting so many clicks off of a fake story of a 15 year old being dead. Uh, claiming her Instagram account was compromised and used to spread jarring misinformation. Well, I guess that's one way of calling it whenever there's a statement about your death being posted. About her and her brother's death. In a statement provided to TMZ from Lil Tay's family, she tells TMZ, I want to make it clear that my brother and I are safe and alive, but I'm completely heartbroken and struggling to even find the right... This is a 15-year-old saying that. Well, saying this. I don't know what's true anymore. Um... I'm struggling to even find the right words to say. It's been a very traumatizing 24 hours. All day yesterday, I was bombarded with endless heartbreaking and tearful phone calls from loved ones, all while trying to sort out this mess. She also says, my Instagram account was compromised by a third party and used to spread jarring misinformation and rumors regarding me to the point that even my name was wrong. My legal name is Tay Tian, uh, not Claire Hope. Which is something so crazy as well, if you think about it, like, how many news sites ran with this and, like, went on the record saying that her name was Claire Hope. And even whenever we were reading it out in our video, we were reading out a news article and it said Claire Hope. And everyone was commenting, being like, no, 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 Adam. Like, no, 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 no. You don't want to talk about Claire Hope. Her name is not Claire Hope. And I was like, okay, well, I was just reading a news article. And I was, you know, trying to get to the bottom of the news article, right? But it, it, it's completely different than me, um or anyone, you know, coming forward and being like, Claire Hope, also known as Lil Tay, is dead. Like, the fact that these media places didn't even do the bare minimum research, like, her name is not Claire Hope, because they were like, oh, there's no uh, police reports of a death under Claire Hope. Bitch, she doesn't exist. Someone said, like, was it not Claire Hope a while ago? I don't know. I do not know anymore. I do not know. And also, before we get to, like, this other statements and stuff like that, it's just so, like, so we're being told a third party... I'm just putting on my conspiracy hat here. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. So a third-party account hacks into Lil Tay's Instagram that hasn't been active since, what, 2018 or something? 2018, June 18th, 2018. And the thing they think to do is release a, like, in-depth, professionally written statement about her death. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I don't mean to be all very conspiracy here. But, like, a third party hacks into an Instagram account that hasn't been used in 2018 and posts and gets this huge media storm now talking about Lil Tay and her brother and her family and their careers. I don't believe it. I, d I honestly don't believe it. I don't... Chat, what do we think? I just... With the way that we know that, like, how shady her family and her brother are, 
it just kind of feels to me that it was like an inside job allegedly to get attention and obviously very clearly it worked i just don't think the third party would be like hmm I have the ability to hack anyone. I'm going to hack Lil Tay's Instagram account that hasn't been used since 2018 and create one of the biggest media storms that we've seen as of recent. I just don't... What do we think, chat? Okay, everyone's saying they think it's sketchy, sketchy. She's not to blame, but her parents are. This is a 15-year-old, by the way. This 15-year-old is not to blame here. I'm not saying it like that. People are saying it's very much so for Cloyd. And by the way, I do not think that Lil Tay herself posted this i think that it was someone within her camp who are very known for using her for you know attention and money anyway so here we see lil tay and by the way this was the post again remember to, to refresh our memories this was what was posted on lil tay's professional instagram account which hadn't been used since 2018 which kind of further proved the point that it kind of looked real because like this account is so inactive it said it is with a heavy heart that we share the debt so you're telling me a third you're a third party hacker wrote this statement i don't buy it i don't buy it sorry i really don't buy it it is with a heavy heart that we share the devastating news of our beloved claire's sudden and tragic passing we have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain the what hacker is writing that she has a new bitcoin coming out lil tay bitcoin what the outcome was entirely unexpected and has left us all in shock her brother's passing also adds an unimaginable depth to our grief now if i was the brother and that was the only line i got i'd be fuming during this time of immense sorrow we kindly ask for privacy as we grieve the overwhelming loss as the circumstances surrounding claire and her brother's passing are under investigation which obviously they weren't Claire will forever remain in our hearts, her absence leaving an irreplaceable void that will be felt by all who knew and loved her. Now, I'm seeing a lot of people say about Bitcoin. I don't know what is going on. Is Lil Tay launching a Bitcoin? There's been a lot of misinformation about Lil Tay, so I will not go on the record or off the record by saying that. But I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat. Are, her dad is a crypto guy. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just reading someone in the chat say that. Um, see, this is when the legal talk comes out. Um, I think as well, with how shady her brother is, a lot of people in the chat are saying that this is very much so could be like a chat GBT. You know what I mean? Write a statement about someone passing away and then posting that. Obviously, this is something within the capabilities of the brother could do. I'm not saying that that is it. I have no information or no... I don't know. But all I'm saying is it's not out of the equation. And I don't think that a hacker would be specifically targeting Lil Tay's Instagram to do this. You know what I mean? No misinformation station here. Absolutely. So Tay thanks Meta for helping get her Instagram account back and the phony death statement was removed. What's still unclear is why it took Tay 24 hours to get the word out that she's alive, which also goes into play like why was her father and manager being like, we can't confirm or deny, almost like teasing that like, maybe she's alive, maybe she isn't, maybe she is. It's like this entire family are just like, clout goblins. Wow, it felt weird saying that because people call me that. I don't think I've ever said that those two sent those two words together, clout goblin. That's normally what people call me. Oh my god, that feels so weird to call someone else it. Oh my god, it's liberating. All right, it's unclear why it took Lil Tay twenty four hours to get the word out that she was alive, especially since um she says she was aware her account was hacked and was getting phone calls about the death. On Wednesday, TMZ contacted the police in the Vancouver area as well as family members who were totally in the dark and knew nothing of her passing. Now we know why. Tay's fake death, what a crazy statement, was announced Wednesday morning on her Instagram. The, compl uh, the statement said, her sudden and tragic passing is an unbearable loss, adding her family is in complete shock. The statement also claimed that her brother died. Her brother's passing adds an Un unimaginable depth to our grief which is so crazy as well because it's like so why would the family not come out within 24 hours and take and take this down even if it was hacked make a statement to the press why were her family making statements to the press that were like we don't know if she's alive neither do you and you're telling me that this is just a hacker really really it it, it seemed that this was something in my opinion that the family were doing to drive up attention to a very stagnant character, which is Lil Tay. You know what I mean? Like, no one was talking about Lil Tay before this, with peace and love to the 15-year-old. 
publicity stunt. And that's not out of the equation, you know what I mean? Like, that's a very common thing within, like, the media world. But it's the fact that, like, the Post is talking about the family being shocked and then TMZ are reaching out to the family, which they should have done before their original article, by the way, Journalist 101. Um, and then they're like, oh, well, we were left in the dark about it. But then the statement says the family were shocked, but then the family didn't do anything to combat the fake news. I don't know. It just seemed like a very convenient way to get a lot of attention on Lil Tay, who no one talked about before this. Something fishy. Uh-huh. And it's not Trishy fishy. Lil Tay got her fame as the world's youngest flexer. So this is what we're dealing with. That wrapped and showed off a lavish lifestyle across social media. She garnered 3.2 million followers on Instagram, but hadn't posted on the account since 2018. So what a way to bring attention back to her account that you haven't used in 19, 20, 21, 23, five years by faking a death. I'm not saying that Lil Tay did this, but what I am saying, in my opinion, is this was definitely a move by the family to bring attention to the character Lil Tay. Maybe the manager and dad's accounts were hacked too. Okay, this hacker then has too much time on their hands, so they hacked every single person in the inner circle. Really? <laughs> in the most respectful way, what that person said. Be for real. <laughs> Be for real. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, you'll recall Tay was caught up in a nasty custody battle between her parents, um, Angela and Christopher. Um... One we were told is going on in court since 2018, around the time the influencer went radio silent online. So that's a whole other added level to this, is the fact that, you know, there's an, a custody battle going on between Lil Tay. There's a lot of legal issues. Her family are known to be very shady, allegedly. Her brother is known to be really shady, allegedly. And it just kind of seemed like the perfect excuse to bring attention to a character that no one focused on but the fact that you're doing that to a 15 year old the people surrounding little because there's no 15 year old by the way that's coming up with this and if there's a 15 year old that's coming up with this and you have a professional following and stuff there's people in the way to stop that happening like a manager like a father like a mother like a brother so even if it was Lil Tay's idea there's so many people that that goes through before it gets put out there that I believe that this was an inside job for attention and congratulations there are so there's so much attention in this but this is not anything on Lil Tay like Lil Tay is not to fault here because again we're talking about a 15 year old we're talking about a 15 year old whose parents are very 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 exploitative of her and brother is incredibly exploitative of her so the fault here does not lie on Lil Tay but it's just kind of like we're being told Lil Tay's alive woohoo but it, and then we're finding out all these custody battles and stuff, and it's like, can we have, like, I don't mean to sound invasive here, but, like, can we have proof that she's okay? Like, how are you going to go from, like, a, a well-written media statement about her passing to just being like, well, she's alive. I want a little bit of clarification on that, please. If we could get that, that'd be great. A little bit of clarification. That'd be amazing. And her brother's, like, 21. Yeah, 21 or 22 or something, right? Just a little bit of cl clarification would be perfect to know whether or not this 15-year-old is safe. I'm not talking about alive. I'm talking about safe. So there's the update. Lil Tay is alive. The statement again said that... Lil Tay said, I want to make it clear that my brother and I are safe and alive. I'm completely heartbroken, struggling to even find the right words to say. It's been a very traumatizing 24 hours. All day yesterday, I was bombarded with endless heartbreaking, tearful phone calls from loved ones all while I tried to sort out this mess. Make child influencing illegal. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm with you. Well, I hope the girl's safe. I hope the girl's safe, and that's the update. She's alive. But also, there's a level of responsibility to the media that we're posting, like, factual articles on this. You know what I mean? I don't know if they were paid off. No proof of that. But there's also a level of responsibility there. You know, TMZ, all well and good, they can come out with an article. It's like, Lil Tay says, I'm still alive. But it's like, you were one of the main ones posting it in the first place. So, I don't know. Fart, joke. I don't know. Well, there's that. Lil Tay's alive. Hope she's safe. Hope she's thriving. And I hope her parents are having an awful day. And her brother. <laughs>